Uh, what do I think of Chemeng? First of all, it's a scam. First of all, it's a scam. Chemeng means a lot of hard work, um, a bit, a of, bit crying, of crying, uh, um, but uh, at the end of the day, satisfaction. Hey there, welcome to Chemeng Weekly. Today we're here at Imperial College London to ask chemical engineering students a couple of questions. Why they chose chemical engineering, what they think of chemical engineering, and what other degree they would be doing if they weren't doing chemical engineering. It's sure to be a great video, so ensure that you watch it right till the end. Be sure to like and subscribe to ChemEng Weekly to get all the information. And without much further ado, let's get right into the video. Hi, what's your name? Uh, hello, I'm Kiara. My name's Tatiana. Uh, my name is Keith. Hi, I'm Radhika. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Sharvin. I'm Sulik. I'm Jeremy. Hi, I'm Humphrey. Okay, Humphrey, where are you from? I'm, uh, I'm from France. So, I'm from Italy, but I've lived also in Germany, Spain. I'm from New Delhi, India. I'm from Malaysia. So I'm Indian, but I've grown up in France and Dubai. I come from Prague, the Czech Republic. I'm from Malaysia. So I'm from India, but I've been living in Singapore my whole life. I'm from France. Awesome. So why did you choose to study chemical engineering? Well, at first I wanted to do computer science, but then I did like an observation work experience kind of thing. And I realized that it kind of wasn't for me. I like chemistry. And so I ended up in chemical engineering. So initially in like high school, I really liked um, physics and chemistry and I really don't like biology. <laughs> so that's why I chose like ChemEng because like in all the uni requirements it says, oh, chem chemical engineering, physics, chemistry, maths. Oh, my three favorite subjects. So, yeah. you know, match made it happen. Uh, well, mostly I think because of the way I knew it was going to make me think because I really like chemistry, I really like maths and choosing ChemEng I thought would allow me to then apply these, all of these different skills and not restrict myself in the career path I would later have to choose. So I chose chemical engineering because I didn't want to go into hardcore chemistry because I thought that would be a bit too theoretical for me. And I, I, I like the application bits of chemistries and especially where it combined with an overlap with the physical and mathematical bits. So that's why I chose ChemEng. I think it was because I really enjoyed chemistry and then I kind of went into 11th and 12th grade and I started really enjoying like thermodynamics and then I kind of researched into what chemical engineering was and like I kind of saw that it was like kind of a mix of all like the economic aspects, safety aspects and also because like you're kind of innovating and developing new designs and I found that really interesting so I was like okay I think this is for me. Well I wanted a course that was quite practical but still, you know, involving the sciences, I quite enjoyed chemistry. But uh, as you probably know yourself, ChemEng has very little to do with chemistry. But regardless, I, I enjoy the, the applied science and I, am, uh, uh, I chose to study chemical engineering because I want to go out there and, you know, solve practical problems. The reason why I wanted to do chemical engineering specifically has to do with the fact with um, the fact that I want to make a change in the world in the sense that I want to make the process more efficient in one, one way or another and the, the change being directed towards the consumers and I'm also very passionate about decarbonization so the climate change and what IPCC has said for the net zero carbon emissions by 2050 so I've always been very interested in the environmental side of things and so that is why I chose chemical engineering. Well uh, originally I, I thought I would like engineering with chemistry uh, and then I just found it kind of cool, so I, I stuck with it. So I was given a scholarship by Petronas, uh, an oil and gas company, to come to study chemical engineering at Imperial College. Oh, well, that's fantastic, that's fantastic. What does ChemEng mean to you? So I think ChemEng is basically plumbing, but more intense. Okay. But more importantly, considering all the other factors such as safety and, and the environment. So I think we have a huge responsibility not just to produce products massively but to do it safely and also in considering environmental factors and to make sure that everyone around us are safe as well. It means in a way the opportunity to help the world become more sustainable so for me that's what I want to do in the future wherever I end up working. When you're learning um, ChemEng you're not just learning how to model a process system for an industrial plant but you're learning how to model any system and I think that's really interesting how I'll be able to model a wider system that includes society as well. Um, ChemEng is that lifelong relationship you just can't get out of. It has its rough patches, it has its up and downs but you can't escape it. It's, it's like a drug you can't get over. So ChemEng, uh, like now, it means like more of an industrial thing, so more into process engineering, how we design a certain chemical plant, how we operate it in a very optimal condition to maximize profit and, <laughs> and to, no, 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 not just profit and, you know, uh, safety and environmental causes as well. 
I think it's an opportunity to kind of problem solve and innovate and, you know, come up with solutions to like real world problems. So whether that might be, you know, with carbon capture or whether that might be, you know, literally with drug delivery and just because it's so vast and there's so many problems to solve and it's so, so it's like very exciting. So Kemenj means quite a lot to me because of the fact that um, my parents were also on the engineering side of things and so I think that actually resonated with me on one level and the deeper level has to do the fact with um, like what I said being able to make a change in the industry itself and given the fast pace of work and I think that really appeals to me. Uh, I think Kemenj is a great way to have an impact on, on very modern problems like climate change, the climate crisis uh, Kemenj means a lot of hard work, uh, uh, a bit, a bit of, of crying, crying uh, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, satisfaction that I'm relatively smart. I think the, the problem solving is, is really there. Uh, I think a chemical engineer is someone who um, has a wide range of tools and can fix a wide range of problems. I mean, I know we shouldn't say it, but we really are the, the best engineers, right? <laughs> Interesting take. Final question. If you weren't studying Kemenj, what would you be studying and why? I think the more interesting question is what I would be doing if I didn't study at all. <laughs> and uh, I, I would like to be uh, an, an electrician or a plumber, right? And I think that uh, it really has a connection to what we're doing here. Because the way I, the way I explain it to my relatives is that um, chemical engineers really are just fancy plumbers. Because at the end of the day, we just have stuff going through pipes, you know? Yeah. Uh, except it's not water, but very high-pressure explosive chemicals, but that's a small detail. Um, oh, I think, honestly, choosing course was really hard, so I could be studying many different things. <laughs> Material science would be interesting, but also chemistry. I really love chemistry, and I do think there is a little, too little chemistry in our course, but um, I don't know, I would be doing many different things. Like I would probably be doing economics because my parents, I think, really wanted me to, and I think because it's very application-based, like you can see the impact it has. Obviously, it has a role, significant role to play in chemical engineering as well, and I think I can use whatever economics I've learned to uh, learn how to be a better engineer politics because I'm really really into like those kind of things back in my country as well and uh, but I know it is not very easy for me to get a job with a politics <laughs> degree so yeah it is a interest side interest for now but I would like to do chemical engineering to get myself a job as well as to pursue my scientific interests in those kind of subjects I would choose consulting because I am more of a communications person and I really love working with other people on um, different collaboration levels. So I would definitely be interested in either the engineering or the finance side of consulting. Uh, computer science. I love coding. I love games. Yeah. Arts and philosophy. Probably geology. Okay. Um, because again, like I said, I enjoyed chemistry, but I also enjoyed a little bit of geography. Was really into rocks and like volcanoes for a bit. So um, yeah, but my parents didn't let me study that. So <laughs> I think I would be doing chemistry okay. because I'm more of a natural science person. So I liked doing a lot of researches and studying in depth of uh, the, the science behind every phenomenon that we where I'm interested in. And with that, the video comes to an end. We certainly got a number of interesting takes during that time. I hope this video helped to explain what the views of chemical engineering students are to those questions we asked. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're never late to a new video. Thank you so much. So Paul, what do you think of ChemEng? Uh, what do I think of ChemEng? First of all, it's a scam. The Chem in ChemEng, right? It allegedly stands for chemistry, but you won't be doing any of that. If you're, if you're thinking of a, of a course to do, and you're like, oh, chemistry sounds interesting because I really like chemistry. Don't do that, right? It's, it's a scam. You'll be doing physics and math. You'll be doing physics, math, and programming. Those are the three things you're going to be doing. Chemistry is like a little cherry on top, which, you know, maybe, maybe if, if the course designer is feeling nice, they'll give you some chemistry uh, problem sheets. But mostly, you're going to be doing physics and math, so be ready for that. Also, Job, do you want to ask me why I chose ChemEng? Why did you choose ChemEng? Thank you, Job. Fantastic question. I chose ChemEng because it is an employable degree and I want to get a job that pays quite well. We are, if you want, if you want to make bank, uh, become a dentist, otherwise become a chemi chemical engineer. Um, yeah, uh, all the, if, if you, you know, as a chemical engineer, I'll have a job. As a biologist, you'll be... Um, what else? 
No, I think that's it. A uh, pollute. Oh. Yeah, we're working on it, but we won't get there very soon. And um, thank you. My name is Paul. I'll be here all night. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, and if you click on the on-screen cards now, you can watch another one of our videos. Click on the center card to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video if you found it useful. Further information can be found in the description, and thank you very much.